leave to the quests. This is Squirtle. We've left. Invigorate boosts four units in your hand, so I guess hand boost is back as well. Hello, Vanadine. Let's see that we don't need a sword, two swords masters. I'll keep this in case they play something like a Nyromancy. Um, Vanadine can push that back. We have no heist though. Um, let's get rid of the bomber. No heist with Vanadine is not what I like. So I guess I could stall. Like, I could make this just a scenario round. Maybe play Vanadine. Boosting it in your hand by three. Okay, because it's hand boost, obviously. And they have done that. Yeah. The question is, do I keep... Do I play Vanadine? Well, let's go for the scenario first. Await the signal. Till then, don't budge. If I had Angus as well, that would be good, but I don't. I have no way to get them. Yeah, maybe I will play Vanadine then. I suppose it depends how the, the round is going. They have used one of the charges. Boost four units in your hand by one. Okay. I don't know what they're um they're using cards which I haven't really seen in a long time. Or at all on the on the board. Damage an enemy unit by one. If Elven War Dancer is already boosted, damage by three instead. Okay. And it is boosted. We can bring out the Swordsmaster. Sure. Let us build the soul of steel. In fact, I should play Vanadine before the next card. Because then I get a waylay and he has gives me an extra dead eye. Okay, they really didn't want that thing alive. Uh, okay, so these would just have deployability, so it doesn't really matter which one I hit. Maybe let's... Well, it doesn't really matter. Hit the lowest one. We are going to play Vanadine. And this goes to the bottom of the deck. So... Do I want to see the scroll again? I feel like they're doing things that I don't think so. And I guess we can hit this thing. And then they pass. So they just wanted to do a couple of small things. Or they think that I was going to do more. I mean, I'm just going to pass them. I got the whole benefit of my scenario. And one on the even. So I think that's a good result. Okay, Simulus is good. Now that we've used Vanadine, we're pushing back Waylays. Although we've used just one. Right? Yeah, so we could keep one in there to use for Alyssa to push back. Heatwave is nice. Maybe... I mean, last time they were scared of the uh, these things, so I could use that to my advantage. Um, but I am going to click it. 
heist. Heist, but no anaromancy. No Angus. Okay. So let's start with the thing that they didn't like last time. And we'll put it here. Unless they start turning into movement. I mean, I could play Heist and get some replayability out of this uh, this Bowman. Maybe a Trucks or two. Because we're going to have it next turn as well. I'm watching. Watcher of the Valley. Give an enemy unit bleeding equal to the amount of boost on this card. Oh, on this card. And if it's banded, uh, sorry, bonded, it will damage it by that amount instead. Okay, so I can't really stop it from getting more. It's just when it comes out. Uh, what are we going to do? Sure, let's play the heist. Because it should give us value out of these things, is the way I see it. Who watches the watchers? Again, these just have deploy abilities. This will probably save itself, I think. It's not going to damage itself first. I don't know. Um... Let's play the Bowman. No, I mean, I could replay her. Or do I just leave it? I'll just leave it for now. I don't think she kills herself, no. She boosts before. Very vulnerable, though. Boost unit in your hand by one if that unit was already boosted, boost it by three instead. They're going to have a very strong third round. Maybe I should consider trying to win at all costs in the second round. I mean, it's already boosted. I just need to bleed them out. Uh, again, not useful to move that. But what are we going to do? Yeah, let's just kill it. If I'm to die, I'll do so sword in hand. It means we can play Alyssa next turn. Although that would break our commando, so we kinda want to avoid that. You'll regret your mum ever squirting you out. They had another one of these, okay, so they got some serious boosting going on. Um What should we be doing? Because we could, I mean, play Alyssa Simless. It's the question if we're, if we're bleeding or if we're like trying to win this round because we think next turn will be worse. But I mean, it's hand boost. So for now, let's just play Trickster. And I know. Replay this guy. Use a non neutral unit in hand by four. Did she just tell me not to eat yellow snow? Um, because I could stop playing Venusiel. Do I just go for it? I mean, I have a very strong final hand if I don't. Oh, 
gosh, I shouldn't have done that. Well, we'll play this now. I mean, we pulled out one of the good cards, but... I don't know if we keep going, really. What do they choose to do? Damage a unit by three, then boost a random non-neutral unit in your hand by two. Death blow boost a non-neutral unit in your hand instead. Oh, randoms, though. Before. It was random, now they get to choose. Do I try and do more? I can play this for 10 points, or I can let them have the round. Because I want all these cards in the next round. Don't know. I mean, I do know, because I just click the button. So we are going to have the Heist back. Swordsmaster we don't want. Sapper is interesting. Trickster with the Heist, maybe. Kind of need to click it, though, because we need to see Angus. There we go. We get the final say. They have a Dunker. The only good door is a dunker. Damage an enemy unit by three at the end of your turn. If the order is not used, boost a random non-neutral unit in your hand by one. Okay. Looks like they're just going to be doing lots of more hand boosty stuff. Chris, shuffle a card from your hand into your deck, then draw a unit of your choice and boost it by three. More hand boosty things. Well, that's what they called me. We will force them to maybe think about getting rid of Angus. So I think you could turn boost the lowest power unit in your hand by one. They've now got two hand boosty things. I could get rid of it, because it's worth an extra four points. Maybe. I just don't know if they've got anything worse coming. That's my problem with this deck. Don't really know too many things in terms of the provision that they've used. Like 13 points, is that a good amount of things that we uh, should be trying to use it. I suppose we could use some similar now, couldn't we? First we're going to replay. No, we should replay them once more. Um, I know, we're going to do this. It may not be the best move. Sticky situation. Spring one a unit. Oh, because I don't understand. I think we turn boost chasing units by zero. When your opponent passes. I have no idea why this sprung itself. Maybe because, I don't know. Um, which one are we going to do? I suppose this will give us more points. Mm, maybe not. I really should have waited because I have an extra one now. Oh, 
So yeah, I should have waited. This card starts in your hand whenever this card is boosted in your hand, boost a random different unit in your hand by the same amount. Wow. I mean, I was thinking I would have to put Venosio on this row to get any value, but no, nope, we're going to put her on that front row. Um, but we're going to play all these first. One, two, three. And then we can replay her once. Twice. On the... And turn and double the amount of boosts on so. This isn't going to keep boosting itself every turn, is it? Well, they decided they couldn't win. So we get another piece of our mosaic. And two thirds of the way on that quest. One more. And we'll have that quest done. Nilfgaard great again. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, then please leave a like. And if you think you would enjoy more, then please subscribe or even join me live on Twitch. Whilst it's cliche, all of these will help the channel. On screen is something carefully curated or something the YouTube algorithm suggests, or maybe even both. In any case, have a great day.